Let's see what the evidence shows and what the controversy is. The very image of dinosaurs has been captured by the secular community. We're all part of the secular community. But, by and large, dinosaurs have been captured by the secular community to illustrate vast periods of time and evolutionary development. There was a time when I held to that theory, long since abandoned by this individual. In reality, dinosaurs are a vital part of God's complete creation. You see, the Saur Poseidon Protellus was the tallest of all the dinosaurs, the one who made those tracks we discussed. Not the longest, not the heaviest, but the tallest. He's the Texas State Dinosaur, and everybody knows Texans have to excel somehow. So he's the tallest, and he was the tallest, uh, indicated from the, the trunk vertebrae found in Oklahoma. Dinosaurs were a part of harvesting the vegetation. The little mice eat the seeds of grass to keep it in balance. But without the dinosaurs with long necks, then we had a canopy of extreme foliage before the flood, and it would have been difficult to get the sunlight we needed. So dinosaurs were a vital part of that. If dinosaurs and man actually did exist at the same time, the consequences are rather enormous. Here's the issue. University professors D.H. Milne and Steve Schaffersman, I know Steve Schaffersman quite well, wrote in the Journal of Geological Education, a technical journal, about the reports of finding human and dinosaur prints in the same rock stratum. And they wrote, such an occurrence would seriously disrupt conventional interpretations of the biological and geological history and would support the doctrines of creationism and catastrophism. Now notice they called ours doctrines and theirs science, but that's okay. Real science embraces real truth. Now, they wrote this tongue in cheek. They said, if this really were proved, it would support creation and catastrophism like the worldwide flood. Let me tell you firsthand. At Glen Rose, we're researching this issue. I live here, that's the reason I moved here. With us, it's not just a side issue that we might discuss peripherally to whatever we're talking about, but to the evolutionist, this issue of man and dinosaur living contemporaneously is the juggler vein. If it's true, their theory is washed out and they know it. So uh, they either have to say impossible, or as you're going to learn in a few minutes, sometime they actually destroy evidence. And if they can't destroy the evidence, and I'm going to show you actual evidence for that. If they can't destroy the evidence, then you have to destroy the messenger. And that's what they practice regularly. I used to read what they write. My kids would come to me in high school and say, Dad, did you see what they wrote about you? That's not you. I said, no, that's not me. And I'm bound by truth, but the evolutionist who doesn't believe he'll give an account to God can say anything he wants to say. And quite often they do.